Okay, so this is how I reflash my Parrot 3200 LS color Bluetooth uh, hands-free. So I've had problems trying to pair a new phone to it. And actually, after I unpaired my old one, it wouldn't do it. It would come up with a P for the Bluetooth code. Uh, so you've probably seen that error and you ended up at this website. So I found several things on YouTube but uh, nothing seemed really comprehensive how to make it work. So I struggled a couple of hours today uh, and finally managed to get it to work. So I will review it. So what you need is your, your hands-free unit uh, from your Parrot. Just unplug it from the blue box. And you'll need a what's called a 232 to TTL converter box and I got that on Amazon for about four dollars so you can see it's uh, pretty straightforward all over eBay all over Amazon real cheap I did take the uh, the silver guide and the you know the shroud around it so that it would plug directly into the back of this old PC uh, this old laptop so you don't need a cable if you do it this way. Uh, you don't need a serial cable when you do it this way. You will need an old USB cable and cut the end off. Sorry, this is pretty ugly, but you're going to need power and ground out of the USB cable. So the, the five volt DC power and the ground, which will be used to power the converter and the uh, the parrot device so you're going to need to to run power to to those two devices from this USB cable then in addition you're going to need to run a transmit and receive from this little device into the connector on your parrot and I'll show you uh, hopefully this will be clear how you do this so it looks like a, a mess of spaghetti wires, but it's actually fairly logical. So start here with your your power from your USB. You do not plug that in yet. Uh, in fact, timing on that was the critical obstacle uh, that I figured out after about an hour or so. So you've got your, your power. You're going to connect that power and the ground back to the, the two leads on your 232 converter. So you've got ground and five volt power, so on the outside. So that will power that unit. Then the power also needs to go to your parrot device. So just solder a wire or however you want to twist it. And power will go into, that's pin four. And the ground actually has to go into pin one and two. So you see I've run two ground wires from my USB connector here. So the power is in pin four, ground in pins one and two. Okay, so then that'll that's the power for everything. Now the, the communication, the transmit and receive, you see here the brown is, in this case, is transmit. White is receive. Well, I had to change colors here, so I, so let's see. I, I connected the the brown to the green. So now green is transmit, yellow is receive, and I, I just took an old pair of uh, an old phone cable that I had laying around, phone telephone wiring cable, and it seemed to be the right gauge. Everything worked out fine. So the transmit, then I just stripped off the end of the wire, and Plug that, just pushed it into pin four of the parrot cable, and receive is on pin three. Okay, so if that makes sense, and I just I stripped off about I don't know a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch off, and it was enough to pull it in and make good contact. Okay, so that's all the wiring. It's pretty ugly, but you're only going to do this once. Hopefully, you're not going to do it on a regular basis. 
So you can plug the the device in your in your serial port, your nine pin serial port of your computer, laptop, or whatever, and then you will run the Parrot Update tool. I did find that I tried this with an older XP laptop, and it would not download the the uh, the update binary file. I don't know why, so I had to switch to a Windows 10. Anyway, you can figure out how to go about all this. So like I said, this was where it failed on using an old XP laptop. But worked fine here. Okay, download now, next. Serial connection in this case, because remember the Bluetooth is all whacked, so you can't connect over Bluetooth. So in my case, my serial port's COM1, you set 115,200 for a baud rate. Next. Now here's the, here's the key thing. I plugged in the power to the USB before I ran this and it, it just locked up right here. So the, the trick that I found or the key here is that you have to be at this point where it's XPRAM downloading and then plug in your power and now it takes off. All right, so that's it. Hopefully this is successful. I'll uh, plug it back into my vehicle and give you an update here. So just hit finish, and I will go check it out. All right, we will see if we can pair the phone now. And yes, it was successful. Very good. Okay, done. All right, so I realize I made uh, one minor uh, mistake in, in the wiring in the earlier video, but this is the way the schematic should look. You should have your USB power, your 5-volt power should power the, uh, the 232 converter. It should also then power uh, pin 4. And this is the Parrot connector with the uh, little notch thing up on top, the little clasp. So this is the number one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think I may have swapped a couple. So then your ground from your USB has to go to pin one and two of the parrot connector and also to the ground of your 232 converter. And then your center pins on your converter, send and receive, go to these pins. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you can get your parrot up and running without much trouble and get it back in service. Good luck.